Uh, hello guys. I just want to talk to a, a vlog today talking about how um, I'm having a lot of fun doing a podcast. Yep. Because um, the last few weeks or months I've been like on my phone. I um, have this app called RSS Feed, right? And um, from that I realised I can download all these different podcasts, search for podcasts. And um, very easily just download them to my phone, you know, on Wi-Fi when I'm at home and just listen to them. So um, I found, like, you know, I've done some videos just in the last few weeks talking about the podcasts I really enjoy listening to, such as Warcraft Less Travelled, Casual Stroll to Mordor, um, things like that. Things I just really enjoy listening to them when I go for my jogs and when I'm driving. It's so much fun just listening to people chat and stuff. And um, I had this idea, like... Um, would be cool, like, how do you go about making a podcast, like, it's a mystery to me, like, and, um, like, how you go about having, recording something, how to record it, and then getting it onto the web, and then appearing on someone's phone, or however they like to listen to it, like, I didn't know how it was to be done, and, um, so I was thinking about this yesterday afternoon, and it's funny how things just, I don't know, I don't know, I find, like, life kind of just, um, Things just, you know, fit together sometimes. Like, um, what happened was I've been having a lot of fun in the last one or two weeks doing Let's Play videos on my other channel, um, Dynamite Starship. Um, like, what I do is I play games, and currently I'm playing Kingdom Hearts, Lord of the Rings Online, MMO, um, and World of Warcraft. Just started that again. And what I do is I play them with my Sennheiser earphones and microphone and just kind of like narrate or chat and talk while I'm playing it and not really as like trying real hard to level real quickly or anything like that but just kind of like taking my time enjoying the journey and just um yeah just, and I really enjoy it like it was very strange at first I remember that like Dragon Age was the first game where I did it and I remember just most time I was playing and I didn't it was, there was m many moments in the game where I wasn't talking at all and I was thinking what do I say and all this stuff but now it's like when I'm playing like I, I almost can't shut up and it's so much more fun and um, yeah I'm having a lot of fun doing that and the thing is I would have done it last night as well like it was a Friday night and um, I didn't have any plans so I was going to do it that night too play like do exercise and play my flute and stuff like that but then have a nice night doing some let's play videos but what happened was in the morning my sister goes oh can I borrow your laptop because she's going to have a landing with her friends playing some LAN computer games with her friends and I was like oh okay sure and I was thinking to myself oh yeah I want to play I want to do a let's play but you know I don't want to 100% all my time into this you know it's good to have balance right and this is kind of like enforced balance so I was like yeah just do it I'll um and I yeah, even I installed WoW onto my um, MacBook, so I had that option too. I could have always played it, but because the PC is where I have the um, the external hard drive and all the programs set up to do the Let's Play stuff, so I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. So what happened was that left me last night free time, like after exercising and all that stuff, to do podcast, learn how to do podcasts, like figure out how to do it with Google. A lot of Googling, um, step by step, like downloading Audacity, the program, downloading um, a little sample. All I did, all I said was in the sample was testing, testing, seeing if this works. And it's like four seconds of um, audio and then trying to get that audio published onto a pot because my goal for success was when I could download my own podcast on my phone, like somehow get it on my phone as a podcast that was my goal like I would love to and then so I just fiddle around with all these different things like first of all trying all these free like hosting services and then trying to get that that file connected to a podcast feed and all this stuff but in the end I found like there are some podcast sites that were more simple and in the very end like the simplest after learning how to use audacity which is very simple to use um and to record things the thing I we went was with um some website some uh it was a how to tutorial on how to do podcasts and they listed one site libsyn dot com l i b s y n dot com and it's like a simplified thing where you it's all in one for publishing podcasts like they host the, your your file you only have to pay five dollars a month for fifty megabytes per month like of of uploads and um uh. 
Yeah, and I tried it out. And um, the first of all, I tried this one called Potomatic, which was free, and that worked. But then I just tried out the Libsyn this morning. I was just thinking, five dollars a month is not a lot, and what it gives me is like this space online where I can just. Because my idea for my podcast was this. I wanted to do like this thing where I would um, get stories like old myths and legends or stories from a long time ago um, mainly because like of copyright issues because like I, apparently after the author has died plus 70 years like it becomes like public domain and anyone can tell those stories again that's why you see all those um, remakes of all these old stories and stuff but anyways so I thought I'd do that like just to because I find like I love chatting and talking and um, I thought it'd be fun like like the old style storytelling where people would retell stories by word of mouth you know like my image is always of this like old guy with a beard in some tavern just telling a story to people you know every night telling a bit more or something I thought you know maybe a podcast because a podcast you can do anything a podcast on anything really and you know what and the cool thing is like who cares if nobody listens to it just just do it and, like just with like my let's plays I just have so much fun doing it like yeah I have so much fun I, I've been even listening to my own Let's Plays, like, I load them up and just go, oh, that was fun, and stuff. Yeah, it's fun. And, um, so I used Libsyn, and it, it was the coolest moment when my podcast, I could get it on my phone, like, I put on the feed, and, um, yeah, on the feed, and it came up on my phone, that was yesterday, and it came out, and I was like, yes! It was the coolest moment. And, um, yeah, so... Oh, first of all, I want to let you hear. So, like, I took you took photos. Like, see, this is my list of um podcasts that I listen to. Right, some really cool ones: Casual Stroll to Mordor, Hamish and Andy, stuff like that. And here, oh, where's mine? See that brown one there? That one. That one is my one. <laughs> Tales by the Fire. Can you see it? It's not focusing. It's not like a camera. But that picture is a stock photo I found of a tavern fireplace and stuff. And there's three episodes on there already. First episode is me just talking about the channel. Second episode is me talking about what story I want to talk about. And the third episode, which I did this morning, is basically me getting into... The first story I'm going to do was um, Journey to the West by Wu Cheng En, which is otherwise known as Monkey. Because I love that story. When I was a kid, I used to love watching Monkey Magic. But anyways, my podcast is just me, like, um, reading the story, like, a little bit of the story, and then just kind of going away for a moment, and then trying to retell that story in my own words. Um, yeah, it's, it was a lot of fun. I had so much fun doing it. So, uh, I will put a link to my podcast. Um, I think it's that, that way. It'll be over here. I like to put boxes over here for some reason. It'll be on that side. T to my podcast, um, the podcast page, and, you know, the RSS feed and stuff. So, yeah. Um, hmm. So, you can listen to a bit of it. Let's listen to the story of me telling Monkey. Story. Hopefully it works. I haven't listened to it yet. Hello, this is Twin, and you're listening to Tales by the Fire. This is the first part of Journey to the West, or my interpretation of Journey to the West, by Wu Ching and... Okay, so, um, there may be a lot of ums, because I'm new at this and not very good, but, anyways. <laughs> okay, um, a long, long, long time ago, many, 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 millions of years ago, um, there were, there's, you know, heaven and earth and all that stuff, I'm gonna... So, you get the gist. So, yeah, I have my own podcast on my own phone. It's <sighs> good. Okay, and as a PS... Um, this is like I've finished talking about all that stuff I would have ended the video here but now there's a little extra bit um, I think m months ago like um, one of my friends Amanda Walters she mentioned that she always had wanted to do a podcast because she's listened to um, this Harry Potter podcast called MuggleNet for many years and she loves it so she she's always wanted to do a podcast but never she never just took the plunge and also she wanted didn't want to do it by herself and um Suddenly, you know, today, this morning, after I got my podcast published on the phone, I was like, she popped into my head and I was like, I'm going to just tell her, just go do it. Go start making your podcast. 
And um, so I messaged her on Facebook and told her, um, yeah, you know, I, I just started a podcast today and, and uh, yeah, you should do it. And I go, if you need any, like, I told her the steps that I took and, like, you know, if she has any, needs any advice on how to get it going. I'm a noob, but I'm a noob, but I might be able to help and stuff. And, um, but then she's like, I don't want to do it by myself. And I was like, had this idea, like, what if um, I, we did it together just, and I put it on my podcast, like, as a episode or something just to get her feet wet you know kind of thing like get her into it and then later on she'll probably find it so simple she can do her own but yeah and um I asked her what topic she wants to do and she said um maybe talking about movies new and old and that's great because I love going to see movies too so we should have a lot to chat about so I I asked I mentioned her maybe Sunday afternoon which is tomorrow no Sunday evening tomorrow we might be able to do it like a Skype call and do it and I'll upload it to my um, podcast channel which I pay five dollars a month for although the first month I used a I searched for a promo code on Google and I got a promo code set code so the first month five dollars off which is so it's free free yep <laughs> um, so yes uh, it's cool like it's really fun doing this stuff because before I do it, like, in my head, I'm like, I don't know how all these, it's done, like, podcast, like, before I did a YouTube video, I was like, how do you get a video on YouTube, and afterwards, it's so much fun to do, and these Let's Play videos, I remember watching them going, oh man, how do they get this game footage and their speech, you know, at the same time, and, oh. but yeah, it's like, you do it, and it's, I just have so much fun, so that's what I'm doing at the moment, and I'm having a blast, and... The journey to the west is a very long story, so it could take me a long time, and I don't even care if I finish it or not. I'm just each. It's one of those things where the journey is a reward, you know. Just every every um time I do that podcast or read a bit of the story, like as long as I have fun, that's the main thing. Oh, and another thing um I've already mentioned it in the video just before, but so another thing that really inspired me is uh Sambo in Z's Let's Play videos. They're so much fun. He's great. He just chats and <laughs> has a blast. Okay, that's all I want to talk about. Um, laters.